half of you have been dying for me to do this. The other half is like, please don't do this. It's oversaturated. But the question is, have you ever seen Scotty do this? Because it's happening right now. You ready for this? So welcome back, you guys, to Break Me Up Scotty. And I'm Scotty. Yeah. That was actually pretty cool, man, huh? Look at this massive set. This thing is huge. So you want to know why I am doing the Star Wars theme right now, huh? Sound is actually pretty cool. I like this, man. Finally, this thing came in handy. All right, enough of this. I got to put this down. I'm geeking out right now. Anyway, whoa. When I started this channel, I did not want to do Star Wars. I don't want to get into it. There's too many sets to buy out there. I will have no room for this stuff. And the reason I'm doing this here is because this set was actually a gift for me. So thank you so much to Lego Certified Store Hong Kong, Marco and Wendy. This is huge, but thank you so much. So I think it deserves a review. And if you guys like me doing more Star Wars stuff like this, let me know, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll get you more Star Wars stuff, maybe, if I'm feeling good. But, you know, man, stuff takes way too much space. Anyway, check it out, yeah? Let's look at this sucker. So this is LEGO Star Wars Betrayal at Cloud City. Number 75222. 2,812 pieces, ages 14 and up. Really? You know, six-year-olds can certainly play with this too. You have to be older to play this set than you can with some of the other sets that I built. Now, that can't be right, man. I have never built anything quite like it. Now, in case you're wondering, yes, I am a Star Wars fan. Am I a hardcore fan? Not really. Like, I couldn't name half of the minifigures on the set, or I can't remember the scenes that were happening in this, but I certainly remember the movies. I've watched them over and over. Maybe it's time for me to watch them over again. I'm super excited to watch the new one that's coming out too. Rise of the Skywalker. Yes. So, what do I start with this thing? This is a very interesting design. This one was actually really hard for me to figure out where I could put it. It like doesn't quite fit on the shelf. It doesn't quite fit, well, it barely fits on this table. It's got a little bit of room here. First thing I noticed that is really is a playable set. It's really open like this. As a collector, I just wish like there was a cover that can kind of like cover this thing like a dome or make it look like Cloud City even more from the outside. But you know, I'm crazy like that, that's just me. But first thing I did was I put all the minifigures, try to copy the manual a little bit to place them in the set so that look like they belong there because they do really make up for the set as well. There's a lot of figures that come with this. Kind of like Ocean Worlds from Octoblock if you want an alternative brick brand, go check out that video. I love them as well. So this is Cloud City, population of 5.5 million people. That's a lot of peeps, man. Location is in Bespin. Diameters, 16.12 kilometers. Primary function, Tabana gas mining and processing. Tabana, did I say that right? Or Tabana? Star Wars fans, you're gonna let me know. We're gonna start on the landing pad right here, because that's where you fly in to the city, right? I'm gonna move this first, this slave one. We've got two minifigures there. I'll do the minifigures as we go along. We'll break this up a little bit more. All right, so first of all, the landing pad. It's probably the most basic build you'll ever have to build, and it doesn't connect to the thing which is interesting. So, you know, you gotta just take it off if you're gonna travel with this and figure out how to pick it up. And I'll show you how to do all that later. And I have to do a drop test for you guys. Man, that's gonna suck. There's nothing special about this, but it looks like a pancake. It's like a shield. Remember those tennis things where you throw the ball and you go like that and you catch the ball? Like one of those. Simple. Interesting how they use this piece. There's no attachment to it. I wanna attach it on there. There's something missing. But no, it's really like that. It's supposed to be loose. Comes in here and it slots in just like that. Super basic landing pad, but before we get into Cloud City, it does come with a jet or fighter that lands on it like that. It's spaced beautifully, so it can fit there, and this thing will go beep, and it'll fly up and go like that. Either way, man. So this is the Slave 1. It is a modified Fire Spray 31 class patrol and attack craft, originally piloted by Django Fett, later by his son, Boba Fett. It has a maximum speed of 1,000 kilometers per hour, and it's nice looking, nothing wrong with it. It's actually kind of cool that it kind of auto rotates the wings or what the flap thing, so it does fly sideways. So that was kind of neat. Isn't the seat inside supposed to like swivel too? But I like it. You have the little blaster in the back here, it's like a secret area, and then underneath the ship, looks like a monkey face there. The two eyes, the beautiful ears. Hi, monkey. Hi. 
No, anyway, it has space here to put the carbonite that Han Solo gets frozen in. It's got two firing things here. I'm not gonna fire it now. I'll fire it in a close-up. I'll lose the pieces if I do it right now. But you push those down and it's cool, man. Piece of solid ship right there. And of course, inside, we got Boba Fett. Very cool printing indeed. The helmet, everything is perfect. I think the characters for the Star Wars universe is really, really good. I love the worn out looking helmet. I think that was a really nice touch. And the detail, the printing. And look, does it have a ponytail? Really? I don't remember that in the movies. And it's got a backpack and a cape on the back. The backpack makes him look a little bit thicker, but still, I think he's one of the cooler looking minifigures. He is awesome, man. There you go, Baba. Ride for you, click, that's Lando. I'm so sorry, there's a song that's called Mando that sounds like Lando. Go check it out from Stupid Young. Anyway, this is classic Lando Calrissian. He looks the same as he does in the films. It looks really simple, but I really like the cape. It's, it, it looks like it has a little texture on the inside. It looks like my grandma's coffee table. But anyway, there you are. I can't wait to check you out on the new film. So this is best pin card number one. It looks a little bit plain. It actually looks really retro. So it's kind of like the film was done back then, but the outfit is just like this nice shade of blue to it. And it has a little bit of gold in there, which is kind of neat, but it's very simple other than that. But I do like the hat. And now we work our way to go into this room here. This is probably my favorite part of the section because it's nice and white. I guess this would be the entrance into Cloud City with a little sliding door. From the back here, it doesn't look that great because you can kind of see how it's designed and it's the only way that you can open and close the door. But the front side actually pretty neat. I like the grill pieces on there. We go into this area. This is like a random hallway. I really can't remember this. I remember the scenes from the movie looking really white. I just don't remember the details of it. But what we got in there? What? Studs, man. This whole thing is studded out. I kind of wish they had a little bit more detail like tiling or bits and pieces here and there. I like the decoration on the walls, futuristic looking stuff. And there's a lot of stickers on the set too, but the sticker quality is actually really, really good. I'm not even sure, is that a water fountain in the middle? Like a futuristic water fountain, rocket? You can certainly put a bunch of minifigures in there and just have like an all out war. And there's a little gap right here. There's just a hole there, nothing there. You know what? Why don't we just use this to point so I can show you guys, yeah? Here's three doors right here, here, and here. Guess what? All the doors open up. So we'll open this door first, like that. It does come all the way out. You can hold it in there by pushing these little pieces on the side, right there. So you got this room here, it's just really plain, man. It looks like they just didn't know what to do with it. They just said, we'll, we'll put two chairs there. We'll put some pipes. I really don't remember this in the film. Ah, the classic C-3PO. What makes this minifigure actually stand out more than the other ones is his head. It's got like all the features, like his head in the films. I really like that. And I love the printing on his body. You can see all the wiring inside and the details, even on the legs and on the back as well. I kind of just wish that his molding would have been more like that shiny gold look to it. But this will have to do for now. But there you go, C-3PO, you look good. So here's Stormtrooper number one. Now I just wish I had this when I was a kid because look at the detail on him. The helmet looks really good. It's got a nice depth to it. And of course he has a face inside. You gotta just see that for yourself. Surprise yourself when you buy the set, man. But look at the printing on the body, it looks really good. It's different on both sides of the legs as well. And he's holding his blaster, classic look. And then we come to this one here, as you can see in that camera, if I open the door, we'll do this again. There's Hans and Leia in this lounge looking area, I guess. I kind of wish it was walled up, but maybe it would have been too tight, so they kept it open. That's okay. I like the decoration here in the middle. But again, it looks really studded and kind of plain. You're just more focused on the st sticker right there. It kind of looks like a Picasso, black and white. I don't know what they're trying to design there. That's interesting. You got a plant in the corner, and that is it, man. I don't know why they just have one little thing there. Okay, so even though they're just using plain, transparent, single studs, I think it actually looks really good as a tower thingy. I don't know what that is. Is that like a, just a decoration, right? And yeah, the man, that's it. That's all there is in that room. So again, you pull the lever here and the door will close. You can leave them alone. Let them figure out the plan. If you haven't watched the movie, what are you doing, man? Go watch it. Here is Han Solo. I dig the outfit. I like the printing, especially the holster on the side, his belt, and he's got this little smirk there. He's one of the characters that has double faces on the set. So, you know, you can flip it around and 
have a different expression. It looks good there, and what's really neat is that there's actually a second one in the set. So if you don't like this one, you can go look at the next one, which we'll look at later. Ah, Princess Leia. How she looks so elegant here in her robe. I actually really like this look. And look at the details, especially here on the side, on the front, and on the back. I like that printing, the little patterns on it. Looks really good. I like the red. Stands out from that white. She also has another face. There you go, Princess Leia. And I like the hairstyle too. Now we come to the dining room area where things all go down with Vader and the shootout. Ah, the table in the dining room. Now the movie has like loads of food on it and stuff. At least they kind of tried here. It's kind of funny how they use like transparent pieces instead. And look, chocolate cupcake. You know you always wanted a cupcake. It's kind of plain and simple. But hey, at least they included it in there. Other than that, it kind of starting to look the same because again, all I see is studs. And we have another best pin guard there. He's just hanging around. Looks like the other one, exactly the same. Look, I like his mustache though. The mustache makes up for this character. So there he is. I guess that's like a miniature here. This thing in the corner is a miniature of Cloud City. Yeah, that's actually a cool idea. More stickers on the wall. Do you know what? They look like a droid version of Ninja Turtles. Is that like a secret message? Or is that just me? Or maybe that's a hamburger. Futuristic hamburger. And when we come back to this room, I forgot about this guy here. Who is this guy? I don't remember him at all. Now this is a character I really don't remember right now. I probably have to go back in the film to see if I catch him. But this is Lobot. And what a name too, because he's part robot. But look at the top of his head. I think that's the best part about this figure. How it rotates all the way around. You see that right now? So you know that this is like a cyborg looking thing. Print looks fine. And yeah, I just don't remember him. I'm sorry, fans. I know I'm a disgrace. And then we come to the most famous room. But you know what? Let's save that for last because it looks the coolest. We're going to come over here and we're going to do the dark room. Because we did the light room. There always has to be the dark side. So here is another area. It's like another runway or where a jet can land. They squeezed everything they could into this set, especially if you're a Star Wars fan. Man, there's a lot of stuff to look at here. So what we have here is a twin pod cloud car. It's designed and produced by Best Pin Motors to patrol the sky surrounding Cloud City. Cairo Master Dual Ion Engine System. That's a very good engine. I have no idea what they're talking about. You let me know. Maximum speed of 1,500 kilometers per hour. It goes faster than the Slave 1. What do I think of it? I definitely remember something like this as a kid too, right? They did make something, an older version of it. Yeah, or is it just me? But it's cool, it opens up like that, and it looks super tight inside. And it's a very simple build, but it does have little firing studs here below. And you can actually fit the minifigures inside, and those are the pilots right there. The printing on both of them are exactly the same, just different expression on faces, but the printing on the outfits are actually great. Again, no complaints. I like their helmets. I think their helmets are actually really cool. And they have two different kinds of expressions, so you can kind of mix, mis match them around. And then you put them inside. Man, he just really barely fits, man. You can get him in and out. That's the most important thing, right? You can still play with your minifigures inside this pod. They do have stickers along the top. I don't know if they really needed it. But anyway, there you go. All right, so continuing on, look at all them studs, yeah. There's a little hatch here that does open up that goes into nothing. Maybe they just felt like there's nothing going on here, so let's just put something there so you can play with something, I don't know what. And then we come into here, and look, there's a robot here. You know, take him out. That guy was actually kind of hard to put on the stud on the inside because his body moves so much. Cool thing about this bot is that he is brick built, not like one piece, and I like the head part, yeah, his eyes, that actually looks kind of cool. And this is IG88. See, they were ahead of their times, man. He's Instagram88. I like his holster on the back. Carry one gun there, and he has one gun in front of him. I really don't remember this guy in the film or what he was doing. But anyway, he's in this dark area. Okay, so we walk down here. You got another sliding door there, similar to the one that we saw earlier. Yeah, slides really well. And you go into this interrogation room. Whoa, look at that thing. So that's where everyone gets tortured and interrogated, I guess. Chair swivels just fine. That's a really interesting design. I like it. Got a little bench there, so Vader can just kind of sit down there and be like, come on, let me know what is happening. And then you got this door here that is, is that a prison cell? That's the smallest prison cell. Man, I hate to be in that one. Let me come out here. There's like a little computer screen sticker decal there. The sliding door is different design. I like that. 
and you come into this room, which is like where they were making C-3PO. So C-3PO should actually be there, and body parts. Chewbacca comes in, and you know what? That's actually really cool, though. They included the really important scenes in the film, and you can play with this thing like crazy. So there's the furnace there, I guess, that comes down and melts all the metal. All I'm starting to see are studs everywhere. Now we come to the last section, the most important section, where Vader fights Luke, and these guys are here trying to save Hans from becoming Carbonite. So we'll start here. This is the Carbonite, I hope I'm saying that right, the Carbonite area, where Hans is being held against his will, and he will be turned into this. Ah, look at that. Oh, look at the switch on this thing, man. It runs really good. No problems, no issues. This part is probably the trickiest part to build just because it's got some mechanism in there. So that's really, really cool. It's just like the landing pad, this one can come off really easy. It's held by cupcakes. That's right. Those are cupcake holders. So I'm gonna lift this up here. Wow, this is really cool. It's a very simple up and down thing going on. So Han slips down and goes, oot, and turns into that. And he gets put onto the slave one. You know, you pull this out. You get slotted into here like that. Help me! Fly away. Fly like an eagle. All right, you guys, the durability test right here. Working just fine, yeah. You got one, two, three, four, okay. All right, let's look at the figures. We got Chewbacca. Chewbacca has his crossbow. He looks good as always. Rest in peace to Peter Mayhew who played Chewbacca. Thank you so much for bringing him to life for me, for everyone else out there. There you are. Cool crossbow, it fires out, he looks really cool, and don't take his top off because that just looks really wrong. But there you go, nice printing, nice design, I like it. All right, so this is Princess Leia number two. Very classic look, she looks very seductive. She's showing a little bit of her top there, but she looks really good. And the printing on her pockets, on her pants that she's wearing looks actually pretty cool. She's got a little smirk there, classic hairstyle. And that's what I love about the set. It has two mini figures instead of one. Yes, two. More is always better. The Han Solo one, yeah? So two Han Solos. So you have this Han Solo who's all handcuffed and ready to become Carbonite. And he looks so worried. I'm really glad that they actually went out of their way to make two of these figures for the set. Because the set is massive. And we got another Stormtrooper here. He's just like the other one. Printing looks perfectly fine. He's got his blaster ready. And we got this guy. Dude, I don't remember this guy, man. Ugnot, 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 Ugnot. I can't say his name because I'm sorry I don't remember you. But you have one ugly face. The printing on his face actually looks really cool though. So there he is. He's going to turn Hans into Carbonite. The platform for this thing itself is actually really cool. I love the transparent orange look to it and the vibe. You know it's something's gonna go down, man. Uh, Hans frozen in the Carbonite. The Carbonite is actually really cool. I love the printing and the way it's pushed out. It's really nice, and it's great that it has ends so you can attach it to the Slave 1, you can attach it to the platform, and you know, you probably put it wherever you want to, you know? Maybe for your mock, you can use this as a furniture, like a table or something. And you come down into this hallway. There's nothing in this section though, right? Yeah, it's just a hallway here, but you got this section here. This can open up, and this can open up. We can slide this better so you guys can see it in this angle. This is where Vader is fighting Luke, and you can place them here. But for some reason, R2-D2 is sitting there watching him for this epic fight. Because he's like, he looks very cool. And you know, there's no, com I have really no complaints about these figures, man. They actually look so detailed. Look at him. It's cool that this can kind of open up so the figures, if you're play fighting, you can play fight with them there. Close it up and be like, here we go. Spoilers if you haven't watched it. Luke, I am your father. Attack. I'm a help and join this battle with them. Better go. Yeah. So this platform that they're actually fighting on, it actually looks really cool and I love how it's kind of held down there. It's supposed to look like it's floating there and the detail at the end there, it's just like the film. It's got a lot of little things going on. It just has a cool look to it. I like it. And then of course, we got the two figures, the final two, here they are. Have I forgotten any of the other ones? I hope not. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the classic Luke Skywalker with his blue lightsaber. Look at him in this outfit. I like the printing. The colors are really nice. He looks fine to me. I just kind of wish there was a second version of him. Why do they have two of everyone else except for him? 
would have been nice to just have a second one anyway. But there you go. He's ready to kick Darth Vader's butt. Now let's go see his daddy. Ooh, look at Darth Vader. Dark, mysterious, scary. Helmet is amazing. Printing on the body looks really good. The cape, is the black cape that he wears, looks fine to me with his red lightsaber. And if we take the helmet off, here's a shot of his face. That's got pretty good detail on there. I like it. Well, I guess that is already two versions. One right there. One without the helmet, one with the helmet. But there you go. Darth Vader looks amazing. They all look really, really good. Well, you guys, this is Dimensions. I'm not quite sure how to measure this. I only have two base plates here. I have more in the room, but I got to pull them out. But anyway, just to give you a scale, this thing is probably going to be like four base plates total like that. I think you can get them on. So, you, you know, I don't even know how to do this, man. I'm going to just take this here and lift this up here. There's one, two. You know what? Let me get the other two. You guys lucked out. I got two more here, but this base plate is kind of jacked up right there. Let's put this on the other side. So let me get over there and put this under here. Okay, sorry about that. I had to shift things around. But interestingly enough, if you have four base plates, it can fit in there. Except for the end there, where Vader and Luke fight. It kind of protrudes and sticks out. Maybe an extra four studs. But it's kind of there. It looks like it kind of measures that point. Now, let's check the height. All right, so break out your one by four bricks. I know this looks super odd with this set, but you know, I'm gonna put the bricks down here and it kind of just about reaches there. That is 18 bricks in height. Yeah, more or less around there. So there you go. Crazy dimensions for this crazy set. And then you come to this final section right here, the top piece, which is gonna finish off, which is kind of funky that they have these things that kind of like, slot in there. I guess you could take these off. You don't really need this. Maybe it's made it so that it can divide the rooms a little bit better. And then you have a little miniature, what's that like a skyline or what Cloud City should be. I just wish that was like that big and covered up. As a collector, I could put the dome over it and be like, this is Cloud City and then pull it off and go look at this thing. Massive, really a cool set if you're gonna play with it. Downside, man, where are you gonna put this thing? So like I said before, if you take this runway off and you take this platform off, it's actually really sturdy. You can pick up this whole thing like that. And this is what it looks like. Can you see it underneath? It looks incomplete underneath. So must I drop test this? I think it'll survive. Man, I'm scared to do this. You guys are making me do this stuff, man. Three, two, one. 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 If I lift it up, did anything come off? Oh, that pl the platform came off. Oh no, hold on, look at that. Yeah. Just push this back down and we're okay. We're A-OK. -okay. Now it's gonna suck when I do insert shots for this thing. There we go. If I had to drop test this too right here, you know this is a piece of platform, so that's okay. This one will survive. Yeah, look at that. Really good. Oh, it came off, no. So that's easy to put back on though. Just go like that. Yeah, I'll put that back on later. Twin pod cloud car. One, two, three. Yeah, you know this one is gonna totally survive. And then, slave one, drop. It's flat, not gonna do anything. It's Lego, man. Stuff not gonna fall apart on you. So there you guys go. Lego's Betrayal at Cloud City. Now, would I buy this for myself? I probably would have if I'm a Star Wars fan or if I started a theme. I guess I have no choice to start the theme now. But thank you so much to Lego Certified Store Hong Kong for this gift. So without Star Wars, there wouldn't be any of this. Or me doing this. All right, you guys. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And let me know if you want to see more Star Wars. Until next time, break me out. Force is with me. Ooh, I hit the light. Young Padawan. Or almost hit the camera there. I'm just gonna swing this thing all day. The force is strong with this one. I actually like this thing better than this set. Yeah, so just remember, if you're gonna really pick up the set, you gotta pick it up by these two sections and not by the other two. You leave those two there and carry them away. But man, you, I just, I wish they could have somehow, I don't know, like made it more like, I know they tried to do the whole circle thing, but man, 
it just looks kind of like it's incomplete. Like I studied along some parts and it looks like it's ready to be flushed down by other section. I don't know if they were intending to make this thing go higher or be like, oh, if you want to add your own mock to it, you can make this actually go a little bit higher, add more rooms to it, add more scenes. Have any of you guys done more mocks with this thing? Is it possible to do something with this thing? Or would it have been actually pretty cool to give us an option to like take it all apart and like build up so it's just like an up-down thing? No, I'm just crazy, right? And cut! This kind of looks like a jet itself. Gotta go... Rossi. I shouldn't even be touching that. You can't do it right. Dusty set, man. Dusty set. Dear, do you copy? It's time, man. We gotta fly in and save Han Solo. You doing right back there? Roger, Roger. I went out. Let's do this. Hmm, that slave one seems to be coming in pretty quick. Uh, slow down. What are you doing? Well, my landing wasn't perfect, but we got on the platform. All right, dear, we gotta save Hans. You go that way, and I'll go that way. All right, Scotty, I'm ready. Hey, who the heck are you? Are you a Wookiee? Are you serious? Do I look like a Wookiee to you? I am so insulted. <laughs> this for saying that, take this. Hi-ya! What's this, a water fountain? I can show you some water. Hans, are you in the room? Who the hell is this? I am C-3PO. I'm in some trouble. Don't worry. I got you back. You mess with him, you're messing with me, boy. You better drop your gun and get out of here. You can't even fire straight anyway. Why are you so mean to me? I'm just doing my job. All right. There. Fine. I'm just going to sit here and cry. Thank you very much. If you're looking for Hans, he's in door number three. Just great. Which one is door number three? I guess it's got to be that one over there. You know... Sometimes I amaze myself. Hans, you in this room? Hello? Oh, wait a minute. Who are you? You're not supposed to be here. What are you talking about? I'm, uh, I'm, I'm the head chef. I gotta make sure this food tastes good. Look at all this food on the table. Uh, uh, all right, if you say so. You call this a chocolate muffin? You're a disgrace. Go make a new batch. Okay, okay, yes, sir. Oh. Maybe Scotty has better luck than I do. Better go find him. I think he went this way. Come in, Lord Vader. I have captured someone by the name of Scotty. You will be very, very pleased. Oh, freaking robot. Oh, I can't get out of here. Help me. Vader's going to come get me. Somebody. No. I can't believe they caught Scotty. I got to do something about it. Toma arigato, Mr. Roboto. Hey. Yeah. It's okay, Scotty. I'm right here. You know I'll always have your back. It's all good. Dear, thank you. Get me out of this thing. Okay, man. Frickin' robot. Kick your head out of here. I'm so sorry. Go! Come, Scotty. We have no time. Let's just sneak past these guys. We'll take this ship later. Sounds good to me. Dear, I'm like a fanboy right now. This is so amazing. Scotty, we don't have time for that. I tell you what, I'm gonna go over to Vader. You go up there and save Hans. We'll be back down here. Hans, I love you. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Hey guys, what's going on here? I love you. No! Dang it! I just missed it. Oh man! Now what am I gonna do? Princess, Vader needs you right now. Man, how many people do I gotta save now? Chewie, get the trooper! I'll get this guy! How dare you turn Hans into Carmelite? You son of a... Dad, good riddance! R2-D2, what are you doing here, man? It's so epic, man. I can just watch these two for days. Come on, Luke, you can do it! Luke, come on, man! Luke, I am your father. No! Oh yeah? Well guess what? Who's your daddy? Shh. What? No! 
Yes. Luke, you hang in there. I'll come back for you. Yeah, that was so cool, man. I gotta go help Hans first, and then I'll come back for Luke. Dear, I flipped the switch. Hans, okay? Scotty, we did it. We're done. Let's go home. I can't believe we finished that, man. You ready to get out of here? Let's get out, Scotty. That was too much for me. Too exciting. Thank you guys for coming to the Star Wars Galaxy Cloud City Edition. Did you guys enjoy that? Dude, that was the best ride ever. Dear, what do you think? That was so amazing! Did we win something? You sure did! This is your prize! Your own Cloud City! Good luck building it! You'll need it! Alright you guys, we'll catch you later. May the Force be with you. What about me?